On Friday night, the Marist Red Foxes took on the Fairfield Stags. The Red Foxes came in looking for their fourth straight victory at home, while the Stags were winless in their last four on the road. The Red Foxes won the first matchup in early January by 12, and entered the night looking for the season's sweep. The first half introduced the storyline for the game, a hard-nosed defensive battle with both teams struggling to make shots consistently. Taj Benning got fouled on a drive, scraped his knee, but he didn't let a little blood stop him from scoring a game-high 15 while playing a game-high 44 minutes. Both teams shot under 30% for the first half and the score was knotted up at 19 at the break. The Red Foxes relied on the 3 point shot heavily as 7 of their 17 makes were from long range. The Foxes went 9.5 minutes without making a field goal before Tyler Sago hit a layup plus a foul to give them a 40-39 lead with 4.5 minutes to go. The Stags continued to show their dominance in the paint as they scored on back to back possessions giving them a 1 point lead. The Stags outscored the Foxes by 10 in the paint. Michael Cubbage then came down the floor to hit a 3 pointer to give the Foxes a 2 point lead. Cubbage and Sago both finished with 11 points apiece to tie them for the team lead. With 4 seconds to play, Jesus Cruz hit a layup to tie the game up at 45. He finished with 12 on the night. Out of the timeout, Braden Bell saw a shot at the buzzer rim out, sending the game to overtime. Jordan Jones hit 2 free throws to open up overtime for Marist, but a quick 7-2 run for the Stags, led by a Taj Benning 3, a Vincent Easy dunk and layup, gave the Stags a 3 point lead. Easy finished with 9 points and 9 boards on the night. A steal led to a breakaway dunk for Braden Bell to bring the Foxes within 1, 52-51. Bell would finish with 4 points on 2 of 13 shooting on the night. The Stags went 5 of 6 from the line late to seal the 4 point victory and improve their conference record to 6 and 7. The Foxes dropped to 5 and 8.